Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Man channel. And today we are going to discover and investigate the quick squaring of the numbers between 30 and 80, numbers that are close to 50. Well, sometimes uh, you might be thinking that, you know, when you, you when you sort of like want to calculate something, like uh, let's say for example, 49 square or 52 square, and somebody shouted the answer really quickly in less than 3 seconds, and, and you might be thinking that, what? How the hell did they do that? <laughs> well, this is the video for you. And uh, this uh, quick squaring video consists of two parts. And the first part, we'll be dealing with the numbers between 30 and 80. And the next part, we'll be dealing with the numbers between 81 to 125. So let's solve this number, which is 52 square in 3 seconds. So let me give you 3 seconds right now. Alright, so... What is the answer to this? The answer to this is uh, very interesting. The answer to this is 2704. So the thing is that, you know, sometimes uh, you might be wondering how do you actually solve this in three seconds? Well, for the numbers between 30 and 80, here is the solution. So now you must be wondering how do you actually solve this problem? Well, first thing that we'll do is that because we are taking uh, 50 as the base itself, since uh, we are dealing with numbers that are close to 50 and between 30 to 80, the first thing that we'll do is that we'll square, okay, the first number of 50, so 5 square, okay, gives you 25, okay, and the next thing that we'll do is that we'll calculate the difference between 52 and 50, and the difference between 52 and 50 is actually 2, alright, so 52 is 2 more than 50, and what we need to do is we just add 2 to here and that gives you the first two values of the number and the next thing that we will do is that we will square the difference so in this case my difference okay is 2 uh, squaring the difference meaning I square the difference between 52 and 50 which is in this case 2 so 2 square gives you 4 and hence I got the value 2704 all right so the thing is that how do you calculate the square of 54 well, the first thing that you need to do, the same thing is that because this number itself is very close to 50, uh, usually the numbers when it's uh, between 30 and 80, uh, they are usually close to 50. What you need to do, first thing that you do is that we square the first number, which is 5. 5 square gives you 25. Okay, so after which you need to uh, calculate what is the value. Okay, we know that uh, 54 is 4 more than okay, 50, so you add 4 to the 25 and that gives me the first two number which is 29 and the next thing what we need to do is to actually calculate um, the square the difference sorry <laughs> you actually calculate the square of the difference which is in this case 4 so that is 16 so the answer to it is uh, 54 square is actually 212916 so just now, the two examples uh, actually shows how do we actually calculate the squares of the 50s and right now we are going to the squares of the 60. In this case, uh, the example is square of 62. So how do we actually calculate it? Uh, because this is dealing with the numbers that are close to 50, the first thing we will do is to square the 50. Okay, so not the square the 50, but square the 5. Okay, so we take the 5 square gives you 25. Okay, since we our base itself, okay, is actually 50. Okay, since uh, 62 is very close to 50. And what we will do, next thing that we will do is that, okay, we will count the, the okay, the difference between 62 and 50 and realize that 62 is 12, okay, value above, okay, 12 above 50. And what we will do is that we will, uh, add to my 25 okay which is this will be the first two number this is 37 okay and what do we need to do next is to actually square this difference as we know we square this difference itself is 12 square it gives you 144 and so what we'll do is that we will okay add 144 to the uh, number itself like this and my final answer is actually 3844 four. So a check on the calculator to see whether is it correct is correct. As you can see, this calculator six that state said is actually three eight four four. Alright, so let me give you another example, another example of how to uh, solve this problem. What we need to do first thing because this uh, this number sixty eight is uh, pretty near fifty. Okay, and we are dealing with numbers between thirty and eighty. Okay, what we need to do is we take uh, the base uh, which is fifty. Okay, and what we're going to do is that, okay, we will take square this uh, number itself. So 5 square gives you 25. 
And the next thing is that we calculate the difference between 68 and 50 and then we realize that okay 68 is 18 more than 15 and what we will do is that we will add 18 to the okay uh to the to the 25 and get gives you the first two numbers and the next thing that what you need to do is to square the 18 itself we what we do is square the difference okay so we square the difference 18 square Okay, so it's 18 times 18, so that is 4, 6, uh, 1, 4, 4, 1, 8, 0, and that gives you 3, 2, 4. So, in this case, the 3, 2, 4 will be written like this, okay? And so last but not least, we will sum it all up, and that will give you 4, 6, 2, 4. Okay, uh, a confirmation using the calculator, as you can see, we also get 4, 6, 2, 4. Okay, so just now what we are done is where we square the numbers that are above 50, like for example, 68, 62, 52, so on and so forth. But what happens whereby you want to square a number that's slightly below 50, but it's between the range of 30 and 80. Let's take a look at this example. Well, um, this is 48 square. What we need to do is the uh, first thing that we need to do is uh, we consider this uh, base 50, okay? And the first thing, we square 5 uh, again, the first the value of the 50, and that gives you 25. And next thing, we will calculate the difference between uh, 48 and 50, and we know that, okay, uh, we know that 48 is 2 less than 50, and what we'll do is that instead of adding here, okay, we subtract 2 away from 25, and that will give you 23, that is the first two numbers and the next thing that we'll do is to square the difference so in this case we square this difference itself 2 square gives you 4 and that is the answer to 48 square a confirmation using the calculator and we will get 48 square is 2304 well, the next value that we're going to investigate is 41 square. Same thing, what we will do is that we take 50 as the base itself. Okay, the first thing that we will do is to square uh, the first value. So 5 square gives you 25. And the next thing, we will find the difference between 50 and 41. We realize that the 41 is actually 9 less than 50. So what we will do is that, okay, same thing, because the 41 is less than 50, we will subtract the value from 25 that gives you 16 okay and then the next is that we will square okay the difference itself so 9 square gives you 81 and that is that gives you the answer 1681 all right so let us just check using the calculator same thing the calculator gives you okay 41 square is 1681 Okay, the next number that we are dealing with is 37 square, which is more, more, more below, okay, 50. And what we will do, first thing, we will take 50 as the base itself. And the next thing that we will do is to square the first value, and that gives you 5 square, gives you 25. And the next thing that we will do is that we will calculate the difference between 50 and 37, and you realize that 37 is 13 below 50. And what we will do is we subtract. 13 from 25 and that gives you the first two values with this 12 and the next thing that we'll do is we square 13 okay we square the difference which is 13 so 30 square gives you 169 um, well uh, after that you have to write like this <laughs> uh, and the final answer you sum the this two values all up and that gives you the okay square of 37 square of 37 is 1369 okay a check using the calculator is all right is this okay 37 square is 100 1369 all right if you are fascinated about this uh, kind of fast math calculation you can actually subscribe this channel for more fast math calculation and i'm bob and here i sign off from here and see you in the next video